was looking at a photograph on Infowars.com from Obama a few months ago, meeting with world leaders at the G7 with Merkel and uh, others. And it just struck me, something I already knew, but the image told a thousand words, that whether it's the leader of France, the leader of England, or the leader of Germany, or the leader of the Netherlands, or the leader of the United States, or Canada, or South Africa, when you go look at who finances the campaigns and who owns the media in those countries and who is writing the agendas, it's a handful of mega banks that own the defense contractor companies and, of course, the insurance companies. And that's why they have the same government policies in England that we have in the U.S., that you have in Australia. It is all developed, rolled out, and deployed. And it's done incrementally to make it all sound reasonable. But what you see is a radical transformation of society to a totalitarian system. And that's what William Benny, number four at the NSA, highest level whistleblower ever, said a few months ago to The Guardian and a few weeks ago on this radio show. That the NSA is targeted to control political dissent and to bring in totalitarianism or total control. People say, hey, I want to play fantasy football and get drunk. I don't care. Do you want to know what the total control is? It's like people that say, I don't care if the government spies on me. I have nothing to hide. Really, why do you have blinds on your windows? Why do you lock your door? Because you may not have anything to hide, but your instinct is seal the front of the cave at night because the neighboring village might do a night raid on you and kill you and haul your women and children off. Or a big cave bear might come in and eat you and your family. Or wolves might come in. Or in modern days, the government in black uniforms might drag you away because that's what every government ends up doing when it's allowed to do what it wants. Because the worst of the worst end up getting in because the public stands down and evil people crave control, basic psychology, and they get control and their worst dreams that are our nightmares come true. Ted Bundy had dreams, they're nightmares to us. Hitler had dreams, they're nightmares to us. Stalin had dreams, we call them nightmares. Jeffrey Dahmer had dreams, we call them nightmares. See, people say, hey, what do I have to hide? I'm gonna post where I live and what I own and, and when I go on vacation on Facebook. And you get robbed. Oh, I don't care if my personal data is out there. I mean, let these corporations and government share it, let it get stolen. Because, you know, um, what do I have to hide? <laughs> That's like leaving your hotel room open if you're visiting the Bahamas. You will be robbed. But that's the spirit of our age. Be a schmuck. Be gullible. It's honored to be mindless and, and to not know anything and, and to not care and, 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 and just to want to be robbed. And people that are informed and know the names of countries and laws. I mean, those are weirdos. <laughs> I'll get into the news, but I was watching uh, ESPN today when I was on the elliptical at the gym with a sound off, but I was uh, reading the uh, text on the closed captioning. And it was all these college football coaches in their different sports jackets and team jerseys. So deadly serious, putting off the mannerisms of a male war chief who will lead the tribe to happy hunting grounds and success. And, and, and debating and arguing what would come up in the new year and how the game should work and how the bowls should work. And oh my gosh, it was so serious. Male soap opera. Why do you think the Romans and others developed games? They said so the public would mindlessly only care about games and, and, and remain children while the adults, the elite, ran the world and made the decisions. They live, we sleep. Would be one allegory uh, used by John Carpenter in They Live or Parable. So it isn't that I don't get a football or baseball game. Oh, believe me, I get it. I mean, you're looking at somebody, you know, grew up in Dallas, Texas, you just go to Dallas Cowboy games. Give me a break, folks. I played football. It's that it is deployed 
chickeningly to control the public and interlaced with anti-gun, pro-Obamacare, just garbage and beer commercials and just all of it. Just admit you're being manipulated. Just admit you're being preyed on. And then from that, you can make the decision on whether you want to be conscious, whether you want to be involved, whether you want to build a better world, or you want to be a thug. So just like the CIA and the globalists found al-Qaeda to further radicalize Muslims and then build systems to destroy them while taking Americans' liberties, the system literally, what was declassified last year that I've been told by experts for decades? that the CIA promoted the downfall of culture and morals and the exportation of meaningless, ugly art so that people couldn't differentiate what was beautiful classically from what was ugly. That's why you have government funding, oh, $300,000 for a photo of a crucifix in a brandy glass of urine, the famous piss Christ. I don't say that to be vulgar. I'm just documenting it here. Sure, if you want to go do that, that's your First Amendment. I don't have to pay for it. Yeah, there's the London Independence headline. Modern art was CIA weapon. Boom. And even if you like some of the art, Pollock and others, the point was they would even put some good stuff out. Pollock, of course, was one of them. That's been declassified, so that they could set the precedent of what art was, because you control style and art, you control everything. Not many people can hand paint a Rembrandt and capture the light and everything. A lot of people can do a Jackson Pollock. And boy, haven't they been successful, because once they get you to accept a Jackson Pollock that, you know, five monkeys on PCP could paint easily, once you get them to accept that, well, then you can get them to accept Marilyn Manson vomiting on stage, talking about killing children. And, of course, it's just to be shocking from his level, but why did Sumner Redstone, on record, I saw a PBS documentary about this, for five years promote him when it was losing ratings and other nasty stuff till it caught on because it's an agenda, it's an order, it's a program, it's a plan. So gangster rap, I mean, look, listen, in 1945, you can look the numbers up, there was less illegitimacy in the black community than there was in the white. Less babies out of wedlock. You fast forward to 2014, right at 90% of blacks are born illegitimately. You say, and the spin is, why are you against single mothers? No, 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 just scientific fact. Three to four times more likely to be in prison or on drugs or to die or commit suicide, yada, yada, yada. We all know it. The point is nobody's bashing single mothers. The point is they're engineering the society to break it because it's not a broken system. It's Agenda 21, Cloward and Piven, writ large. Agenda 21, Cloward, and Piven are just program names for a few agendas within the whole agenda to balkanize, dumb down, turn us into thugs, turn us into mindless idiots so that we won't stand up for anything. Blank slates of just worldly dumb people who will accept whatever's trendy. Whether it be University of Texas football or whether it be self-mutilation or whether it be... Uh, Islamophobia, pick whatever version of it you want, or La Raza, Hispanic Ku Klux Klan, La Reconquista, uh, or, or, or New Black Panther Party, Justice Department funded, it's all dividing us. While well, they've got new shows about fishermen, Northerners against Southerners, and they've got shows about black against white, and man against woman, and that's how you get ahead in the world, is getting to be part of a group and screwing over the other ones. While well, the globalists sit back, knowing that if we ever come together around the principles of liberty, if we ever click to that and come together around justice and freedom and honor, that that's the real value, that's the real possession, prosperity follows. 
and then we have a new golden age of freedom and then all these kleptocrats that have robbed us blind and stolen hundreds of trillions of dollars and that are building giant FEMA camps now on record and army manuals about mowing down crowds of people during collapse. None of that would have to happen. But I've watched the globalists in third world country and in old world countries and in Western countries now bring them down, destroy them to rebuild them in their image of tyranny. And so I can cover all this news, and I'm going to today. But until we pull back and look at the agenda of the ruling class that is not capitalist, that is not free market, they do everything they do under that guise while they fund the socialists, the fascists, the totalitarians, the communists, as Carol Quigley wrote in the mid-1960s in Tragedy and Hope, 1,100 pages long. We sell the book back in print at InfoWarsStore.com if you dare read it. The head of Georgetown Political Science, Bill Clinton's mentor when he joined the Central Intelligence Agency and was sent to London, England with Hillary, his fake arranged marriage, classic spy, it's all declassified who Bill Clinton thanked in his inauguration. Carol Quigley explained it all, and he thought the public was so dumb. He argued for its public publishing, and at first it wasn't. He argues in the book that the public should be told about the world government plan, the eugenics plan, and he said the public is so dumb they're not going to want to know. Those that do want to know will, will want to join us. You might want to read it. It's 1,100 pages long. You want to know what runs the world, how everything operates? Re read Zabina Brzezinski's five books. Read Alvin and Heidi Toffler's books, which puts a, a, a pop spin on it, but you'll find out. I mean, listen, what you're hearing from me is not my opinion. That's what I keep trying to get across to all of you out there. They are putting poison in the water. They are putting nanotech garbage and cancer viruses and microplasms in the vaccines. They are brain damaging the public. I mean, you're in a... You know about all the secret testing on the troops and minorities and poor people? You know about Hitler? You know about the Kaiser Villem Institute? Everybody knows the Rockefellers funded Hitler. That's even pop, pop culture. Well, who do you think runs this country? By the way, there was a big earthquake. I haven't even gotten to that, obviously, a 6.0 that hit up in Northern California but also shook San Francisco. We're going to talk about that some. But did you know that the Baroness... Philippine de Rothschild, one of the heads of the Rothschild family, reportedly tied into trillions of dollars. A very interesting lady. She died yesterday, right up there in Sonoma County where the earthquake centered. Thought that was an interesting coincidence. You might want to go look her up. Just type in, type her in. She always wore necklaces. She wore a, a baphomet and a, a devil around her neck at, 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 at all times. We have that up on screen. Just side issue. And yeah, they did release in a fashion magazine last year um, some. Rothschild photos, like eyes wide shut stuff, but never mind all that. You know, Stanley Kubert, he was just the director. Even though we've talked to his daughter that won't talk to anybody else, and she told me quite a bit of stuff. I don't know why I'm always told this stuff. I'm not allowed to talk about it. But uh, anyways, the point is, is these are very nice people. And uh, there you go. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. You can make of all that what you will. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. We're going to be intensifying our efforts to awaken free humanity to the scourge of the globalist in the month of July. And starting this July 4th, we are going to slash prices in a celebration of true Americana, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and the Declaration of Independence on all of the Made in America products that you will find at MadeIn1776.com or InfoWarsStore.com. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in brass and nickeled brass that state it loud and proud. Molon Labe, that's why we have the best-selling Made in America men's and women's Molon Labe InfoWars.com shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a win-win. You vote with your dollars. You support the most hardcore organization out there for promoting true ideas of libertarianism, constitutionalism, basic human empowerment. 
But more importantly, you get T-shirts and belt buckles so you can meet like-minded people. So you have a conversation starter with friends and family and coworkers. We are reaching out to each other. And you also throw it in the face of the anti-gunners and the rest of the parasites out there that you're a free man and woman and that you're not going to be a slave. That, that, that you're not going to be intimidated to shut up by their tyranny that they call political correctness. That's why in the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. But to expand the info war, we're offering the biggest special in the history, what is it, 13 years of PrisonPlanet.tv, our multimedia platform. We're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv and you get 11 memberships that can be used with the same username and passcode so you can share it with friends and family. Now is the time to fund the war bonds. Now is the time to fund the info war. Now is the time to get aggressive. Now is the time to double down. Now is the time to realize you are the people that made the info war so successful and one of the leading lights worldwide against tyranny. You don't stand behind us. You stand right beside us. And I salute all of you on this July 4th, 2014 and going forward in the month of July and onward. This is about freedom worldwide and that desire for human dignity and self-determination that beats in the human breast. We are brothers and sisters together in the true spirit of liberty and the animating contest of liberty. And so I quote in closing the great Thomas Jefferson that I have sworn on the altar of God resistance against every form of tyranny. And never forget, if you are watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance.